And a lot of time patients ask me, I was told that I have keratoconus, what should I do? First of all, keratoconus is a common eye condition, usually presented with certain symptoms such as unstable vision. In fact, vision fluctuates from week to week. Also, patients suffering from keratoconus notice that the vision deteriorates in a very short time. Usually, keratoconic patients suffer from an increase of ghosting, distorted vision from a relatively normal vision just in a matter of months. And lastly, they also experience extreme sensitive to light, particularly headlight of incoming car. Now, keratoconus is caused by anomaly of our cornea. Cornea is a clear structure in the center of our eyeball. It acts as a window to our eyes, allowing light to enter into our eyeball. Normally, the cornea make up of multiple sheets of cells, and between each layer is connected to one another by some collagen linkage, similar to Velcro that you snap over one another. For some unknown reason, keratoconus patients lack of this linkage. Subsequently, corneal tissue cannot maintain its normal shape because of the structure compromise. As a result, light go in, they scatter when they enter into the eyeball, causing distortion as well as blurring of their vision. Of course, fearing of losing our vision is one of the greatest fear. It's always, po po always possess in our mind that, am I going to go blind? Keratoconus is not a disease that will lead to blindness. However, it brings plenty of inconvenience and certainly take away a lot of the quality of our life. Before 2000, treatment of keratoconus include glasses, rapid contact lenses, uh, changes, um, maybe use soft lenses or hard lenses, but they always have to change contact lenses a lot. Now, nowadays, there's a whole lot more treatment options. We have soft contact lenses for keratoconus, hybrid lenses that have rigid lenses in the center and a soft skirt on the outside as a carrier. Recently, the introductions of scalar lenses also provide an excellent alternative to patients looking for a good, comfortable contact lenses for their eyes. Lastly, we also see a lot of changes in the philosophy of treating keratoconus. We are no longer only dealing with the loss of vision. A lot of attention is now focusing on stabilizing the corneal shape using procedures such as corneal cross linkage. It's also showing great success with other procedures such as partial corneal transplant in patients with catacombs.